welcome back student today we are going to see the null production okay in the last class we saw the re reduction of cfg okay in the last class we saw the reduction of cfg okay how to reduce how to reduction means how to minimize minimize the cfg okay context free grammar okay so now here after creating the grammar okay so here simplifying null production means with the help of this grammar we need to see we need to find the null production and we need to remove it okay the main purpose of this is we don't want the null production in place of the null production we need to replace it and we will we need to get the result okay so in the given grammar we need to see what is a null production you can see the null production here this is epsilon and this is epsilon okay so how we are getting this epsilon we are getting the epsilon on a a epsilon b epsilon so here we have two null productions are there a is epsilon and b is epsilon okay here we have the two null production so first first thing we need to do okay first thing we will work on a is epsilon okay first we need to work on a on epsilon so here to eliminate the to eliminate the a is epsilon okay so first so wherever the a is there we need to add the epsilon in the given grammar okay so how to do this like here first we will take s means here okay and here in place of this what is the grammar we have now here is a b a and c okay so here we are getting the a two time a a okay and now we need to add the epsilon wherever the a is there so first thing is first you can re, uh, you can apply the epsilon to this a first a or you can apply to the third a so here i am applying the epsilon here okay here or here anywhere you can uh, add the epsilon so i will add here no problem okay otherwise you will get confused like it is first because of that you are taking so i am applying the epsilon to this a so what the answer i am getting here is a b c we remove this a because we apply the epsilon if we have the apply the epsilon then no use of that a okay this is one another first you apply the epsilon to this now you apply to this so here we will get b a c okay we need to perform on this grammar in this epsilon i am applying wherever the a is there we are applying the epsilon first time i am applying here second time i am applying here in the third time in the third term i am applying at the both place so what i will get b c okay so i got the a b c b a c b c this is a new production okay this is a new production of s next next is we finish this a b a c we have taken and wherever the a is there we apply the epsilon in the first here in the first step we remove this a okay in the second step we remove this uh, on the same equation same graph sorry same grammar 
then after that we apply the epsilon to both of the a then we will get the bc okay now we need to take the next one is a next one i am taking a because a is also have the epsilon so here simply when we apply the a is epsilon so simply we will get first thing we will get here small a capital a first thing we will get this next next is in place of this a if i apply the epsilon what the answer i will get i will get simply small a that's it okay this is a terminal whenever we have a non terminal then you can explore it but when we have a terminal we need to stop so about the a we got this okay and let's check it out in the b is there any a here no in the c capital c is giving small c is there any a is there no so we need to stop here then we will get the new production what is the new production for the first one new production what is the new production s first s is a b a c this one next what we got s a b c and next b a c okay and what is the last one is b c okay previously this was a b a c okay when we apply the null production we got the s is a b a c a b c b a c and b c okay for the s is a production here we combine all this operation whatever we got here after eliminating the a is epsilon we have written here okay next next what is the next one a a so here take the here a small a capital a or small a okay what we got here we have written here and this two remaining same we did not apply any operation over there because there is no capital a okay so as it is i am writing how the answer is here capital c and small c so this is the new production after eliminating the a ap a is epsilon now we will work on this okay next next one is next one is second one in the second one we need to see to eliminate the b is epsilon okay b is epsilon so here we need to check in s a b a c so b is coming here okay in a a small a capital a no no need of this b is capital b is here only two are there in the grammar s and b we need to perform the operation okay production rule only to s and b let's see here first i will take the s what is the s a b a c okay what is the s a b a c 
same thing whatever we have done here the same thing we need to do here like s in in place of this b we need to add the epsilon so what the answer we will get we will get the answer a then again a and c this is one answer we will get okay and what is the another one what is the another one like c a a c okay so here here uh, here uh, uh, the thing is to em eliminate the b is epsilon whatever the new production we got here we need to work on here so the what is the first one a b a c so you need to see here you no need to see here okay fine so here a b a c so what the answer we got when we apply the b epsilon we got the a a c the next is in place of this b what we can apply epsilon so what the answer we will get a c okay a c and here also is b when we apply here epsilon the same answer we will get a c so we no need to write again okay and what is the last one here when we apply the b is as epsilon then we will get the answer is c okay then we will get the answer c so this is about the s production okay this is all about the s production once again i will tell you when we go with this okay here s we need to take this all s a b c b a c and b c whatever the new production we have based on that we need to perform the next epsilon on this new production okay whatever the new production we got with the help of a then production answer we are applying the b okay so a b a c b a b c b a c and b c so here a b a c in place of this b if we apply the epsilon the answer remaining a a c next a b c in place of b if we apply the epsilon then a c okay and here b a c if i remove this b means apply the epsilon on b then answer will be a c so already we got the a c so we no need to write again so in place of this b if we write epsilon then we will have the c next here we need to check a is small a capital a and a so this is no b we need to go here b b is small b capital b and epsilon so here we need to apply okay here we need to apply so b b small b capital b small b capital b okay in place of this comma b i i need to write this in the next line but uh, if you want to write in the same line you can write the comma and you can continue okay b is giving b small b when we apply on this b capital b epsilon then we will have only b so what is the new production we got here new production okay what is the new production we got here s we need to add this okay we need to combine this production as well as whatever we got after applying the b as epsilon that also you need to add the first same as it is we need to write this one okay a b a c okay 
A B C, B A C, and B C. This is the previous one. Okay, from this. But now, what we got after applying here, we got the new production is A A C, A A C, and here A C and C. We got the answer this okay this blue color already we got when we apply the epsilon a and this black color we got after applying this result of the a as epsilon new production we apply the b as epsilon then we got this answer and we combine that together okay next one a is small a capital A A as it is same we no need to change anything B because we did not perform any operation here next B B is small B capital B what the answer we got here small B capital B already we got from here now B is small B okay next c we did not apply any operations so here it is same so after removing the null production okay after applying the null production we got the new production first uh, a is epsilon so we got this production with the help of this production we applied b as epsilon while taking this as an input okay and we perform the operation then after that whatever the result we got here after b as epsilon we need to combine we need to union this production and this a as epsilon and b as epsilon production you need to combine and you need to get the new production and this is a answer okay so this is a null production i hope you understand if you did not understand no don't worry uh, i will take the another example then we will solve okay so let's take the next example here okay and here the question a s a okay and small a capital b and b sorry and this is s okay here i will write the different color here question okay so s is giving capital a is capital s okay and capital A associate with small a capital B or B okay next you can write continue also here after writing like how I did here like comma a is B comma B is small b epsilon okay so here while seeing here, can you tell me what is the null production here? What is a null production? First, we will see here. There is no epsilon here. Here, there is no epsilon. Here, we have the epsilon. B is directly associated with epsilon. B is directly associated with epsilon. Okay. So now, we need to see, is there the B is there anywhere? yes b is associate a is associate with means a is getting b and b already have the epsilon so for that reason indirectly indirectly we will get the a as epsilon okay so first we will solve this and whatever the new production we will get with the help of b epsilon that we need to apply to this okay we need to see the directly and indirect 
okay next next okay so here we i will i will write a is also epsilon indirectly okay in directly okay why indirectly because only one non terminal is here so a must have something so b is getting the epsilon also so we need to consider this here but b as epsilon if i consider in the s here no problem the answer will be will be a okay so we cannot take s as a epsilon because here b non terminal is with the terminal but here in the a b is a non terminal and they must they don't have terminal with them because of that indirectly a is also a epsilon okay so let's solve this first first one what is to eliminate to eliminate the b epsilon okay to eliminate the b epsilon first we need to take we need to take s okay is there any b in the s yes is there any b in the a yes is there any b in b no so s is what is the answer first we will get a s a okay first the answer we will get a s a directly we, we can write this and we can solve here a b and b so now you can solve this a s a okay a s a a b and b in place of that a s a as it is okay and here a is b a is b so a is b what is the a s b a, a in place of b how what we can write we can write b also but first you must have write the same thing in place of this b you can write this b okay you can write this b but here in place of this b we need to apply the epsilon we no need to see the terminal we need to see the epsilon so when we take this b as epsilon okay so what the answer will get a okay when we apply this b as epsilon we will get the answer a and b will be the as it is are you clear about this once again i will repeat this this is the same thing from the question here a s a because here no we don't have the b because of that it is same here a b is there so as it is we are writing after that in the next step in place of b we are applying the epsilon when we apply the epsilon here what is the remaining a okay after remaining whatever the remaining here terminal that we need to write here then what is the last one is b this is a simple method to solve next is there any b in the a yes so apply a in place of b in place of b okay first we will write the capital b as it is and in place of this b if we apply the epsilon then it will be a epsilon so no need of writing the epsilon or in place of this b we can write the b okay in place of this b we can write epsilon or we can write b why we are taking this means we need to write any terminal when we are solving this next next one is b so what is a b b is small b okay epsilon we no need to write here so this is how we eliminate the 
b epsilon b as epsilon so what is the tot what is the new production what is the new production let's see new production is okay s is a s a small a b this and a and b this is a new production of s previously it was a b and b here we added the a after applying the b as epsilon next what is a is b or small b and b is as it is same b okay so this is our new production okay so we need to take this new production and we need to solve here as i told you directly the b as epsilon so when we are taking here okay when a is b we no need to see above one we need to see the down a when a is b so in b is already epsilon so indirectly a is epsilon so for that to eliminate to eliminate the a is epsilon a is epsilon we need to take this and we need to apply okay now here s what is s s is a s a here s is what a s a so the write the same thing directly i am solving here or you can do the same like this so directly i am solving here so s a s a first of all i am writing all the thing whatever we have here small a capital b small a small b okay now what the thing we need to do here wherever the a is there one by one we need to apply the epsilon okay one by one we need to apply the epsilon so the next new one is new one here a s a in place of first a i am applying epsilon so what the answer i will get s a okay then after that in the same way same grammar i am applying to next a so what we will get a s okay then after that if i apply on the both a epsilon then what i will get i will get s is there any a non terminal is there no all are terminal and we no need to see the b so the new production is this next one a okay what is the next one is a when you go to a capital b and small b we no need to change anything because we don't have a here so as it is the next is capital b is small b here also we don't have capital a so here also we no need to change anything so this is our new production okay here this is new production fine so here we have taken the input this but here when we see the example then only we can see the only directly epsilon to b only but when we see here this is indirectly the b a is also a epsilon so first we need to apply on the b epsilon whatever the direct then after that whatever the production we will get here based on that we need to apply the a epsilon a is epsilon so here when i apply here the same as it is whatever the new production of previous answer that we need to write as it is that is written in the blue color then after that we need to apply in the 
above grammar in the new production grammar we need to apply in place of a is apps long so here we have the a a so first of all I apply the apps long to a any any a you can apply okay s a then after that a s okay then after that I apply to both of them then only remaining is s and this a b and b is same we did not change anything and b also b we did not change anything because we don't have the a non-terminal so this is a example of simplification okay so simply simplifying null production okay <clears throat> so in the last class we saw the reduction of cfg okay and today's class we saw simplifying null production in the next class we will see the unit production okay unit production and this is very important topic definitely one question will come in the exam okay so here the two examples are there then you can do practice then you will easily understand what is the null production okay okay thank you very much we'll see you in the next class